Hello everyone, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, we are going to show you how to use Morgan scheduling links. We're going to cover why you would use a one-time versus a recurrent scheduling link and all of the things that you need to know to schedule meetings using Morgan booking links today. So first things first, a lot of people in general don't know what a scheduling link is. If we go to the top left of the Morgan calendar right here and press scheduling, you'll notice that there is a section here for personal booking pages, recurrent Morgan links, one-time links, and then even something right here that shows create scheduling link. So a one-time Morgan link is essentially a quick link that can be used when somebody wants to set up a meeting time with you. Whereas a recurring Morgan link is, for example, something that I use to have different calendar slots open for people to book quick meetings with me or be podcast guests on my podcast. All of these different links are then housed on my personal booking page. So for booking pages, a really great thing about Morgan is that you're going to be able to pick and choose what you want to show up on that booking page. So if we go into the three dots here, and press customize booking page, you'll see that we can change the link here. So the booking page can have whatever you want specifically. So I'm gonna do slash Dimitri Panici and then confirm. You're also able to upload a logo. So for me, it'd be my Rise Productive logo and you're even able to select a custom brand color. And when it comes to your booking page, what will by default show on here is your recurrent scheduling links as the ad hoc meeting example I have here and any one-time Morgan links would not show on your booking page. And you can actually pick specifically on your booking page what recurring links you want on there. So for example, if I were to remove this from my booking page, and then refresh this, only the Rise Productive Podcast guest one would show up on here because as you can see right here, it's public. Now I can change this to add to booking page. And then if I were to refresh this page, it will show up again. You also are able to add any of the one-time links to your booking page and remove them as well. So if I were to go to this link, you'll see that my two recurrent scheduling links are right here with Rise Productive Podcast Guest. And then when I click on this, there's a couple different availability times for me to choose from. And on the bottom left here, it shows what time zone we want it to be represented in. I'm in central time zone, but if I wanted to look at it from European central time, it would then show me what times these are at for me. And you can also toggle between the 12 hour and 24 hour formats. Now, in order to make a scheduling link, all we have to do is go right here to create scheduling link and we'll press plus and recurrent scheduling links will add the link to the booking page like I showed you before. And then a one time Morgan link is going to be for ad hoc meetings. So let's show you first what the one time Morgan link would look like. Click on this and then it will prompt you to look at this entire page. Now in this section right here, this is a very important point. If we click on this, we have the option to select what calendar this will be booked to. So for me, meetings is my calendar. Rise Productive is my default calendar for just tasks and whatnot, but this meeting calendar is exactly what I use to set up meetings. So if we press meetings right here, now any time somebody books a call with this link, they will be able to really quickly be added to my calendar. Now, I just wanna give you a real world example of how this necessarily works, because to clarify, this doesn't only just save an event in this one meeting slot, but it also prevents any sort of double booking from happening. So let me explain. If we go into this ad hoc meeting and look at some of the slots that we have available, what's really important to note is that you can add multiple calendars to check your availability. So for me, I'm going into work on Thursday. And while I do have a scheduling link that allows me to be open to book calls for my side hustle at night, if I'm going to happy hour with the people from work, that isn't necessarily gonna make any sense for that slot to be open. So right here in this shared availability section, I can add this work calendar for reference. So now since I have this work happy hour from 5.30 to 8.30, PM and my ad hoc meeting link I sent someone had this availability slot there, it's not only gonna look at what is in the calendar that it's saving to, but it's also gonna reference the availability of my work calendar. So when we click on this link and we go to my browser by previewing it here, we'll notice that there's no availability on that Thursday and the only availability that's coming up is gonna be this right here. Now I do wanna also point out the fact that it is so important that we understand that the second something is on this slot, it in real time will fetch that data, just like with this work calendar, since there is stuff booked during that time, people are not allowed to book from seven to 9.30 here. 
It's gonna be cross-checked in real time from the calendars you choose. And even if somebody puts a meeting on your calendar, you're not gonna to have to worry about adjusting anything with the scheduling link. If somebody wants to add another happy hour out of my calendar, I'm not gonna complain because I won't have to adjust anything on the slots and it will automatically say, nope, you can't book a meeting with me. I'm having too much fun. It's no big deal if the highlighted areas overlap with other meetings because that overlap will always be excluded from the availability offered. Now on the top left here, we can set the meeting title. So I'm going to do ad hoc meeting and we click location. It's just gonna be virtual, so I'm not gonna do anything with that, but I can put Google Meet link right here since it is going to be a virtual call. I'd like to point out that you're not only able to use Google Meet, but you're also able to use other conference tools. If you go to settings here on the top right and then profile and preferences, then go into your integrations, you're actually gonna have much more than just Google Meet and Zoom. You're also gonna have the integrations to work with Teams and Cisco. So this pretty much covers on the majority of video conferencing tools that exist for you. So you're gonna be able to book meetings and have your scheduling link work with any of these, as well as anytime you create a meeting in Morgan, you're able to use these different tools integrated directly with your calendar app. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select slots on the calendar. So let's say I told somebody I'm available tomorrow night, for example. I can do this one right here. And then, okay, let's say they're maybe not available that next night, but I, they are also available to chat with me then. This is gonna be about a 15 minute meeting. It's just going to be a quick sync. And then we're not gonna let them do this any sooner than I would say 24 hours. I really don't like being like, oh God, there's an hour before a meeting. What if I don't check my email every hour? So that would be this situation. And then no later than I would say one week, cause I only want this to happen this week. And then check availability in. I only wanted to check meetings. Why? Because as referenced before, that meeting is going to be saved into this event. And then you can also set reminders. So for example, there's 10 minutes before and any other number of minutes before, hours before, days, weeks. And then you have the option right here to select whether you want it to send to just the meeting organizer, as in me, the invitee, or both. You'll see after you change the name, by the way, that this booking link will change the name right here. You can change this URL once again, but what I would recommend that you do is just leave it as is. Now, you can either save and copy the link or save and open email. So say we save and copy the link, it will mark this right here and it will end up expiring just like this previous one did before. And you can always delete these right here. Now, as you'll see with the recurrent scheduling links, you're able to do the exact same thing. So if I press edit Morgan link, I have quick sync availability at night and in the morning for people who want to book calls with me. And it's always 15 minutes of buffer time. It's checking that one meeting calendar and assigning it to the meeting calendar. You can always change this. You can right click and delete it just like you would with any other Morgan calendar event, but it's just adjusting the slots. You can go like this and you can add an infinite number of different slots and it will auto add to this section over here. Anytime you wanna have this update, just press save and copy link right here. And remember, anytime you're adjusting these, they're going to just continuously reference that one calendar. In this case, my meetings calendar for when people are able to book calls. Another really cool tip is that you can actually click on the three dots here and embed in your web page. So this is going to be what's called an iframe. So an iframe, if we press copy code here, is essentially an embeddable link. So if we do booking page, and I do slash embed, let's just paste this in here. You'll see in Notion and on any website, it would do, it would have exactly what you saw on that website before, where it would just have the uh, quick sync option right here, just like with that booking link, and you can select the time here. And obviously you can also just left click on this and it will copy the link and you can send it via email. So as you'll see, when I paste this into a browser, just like anyone would see when they click on the link, they would be led to the specific booking link rather than your personal booking page that would have all of your recurring links. I hope this helped you learn a little bit more about booking links in general and how they work within Morgan. Thank you so much. And I'm excited to see you in the next video.